Do, are you guys, first of all, okay if a woman you just met is, you know, taking it from other angles? <laughs> multiple people at one time. So I feel like from a woman's perspective, I don't know about how you feel, Gigi, so maybe we can compare thoughts here. But I feel like the average like good woman does not want to date multiple guys at one time because she knows that, you know, she can't invest all over the place. Like if she's really going to give you her all and kind of put her, you know, herself or her heart or put some emotions in there, it's going to be hard to do that if she has other guys in the picture. Jeanette, do you think that's accurate or how do you feel? Uh, I think it's possible as a woman mm -hmm. um, to do it. If that's if that's her speed, I think it's okay. Because I think there's so much like pressure to date that it has to be serious from the beginning. So I feel like if you're getting to know multiple people and kind of like weed them out and you have the ability to like compartmentalize or like separate them, I think it could be a great thing. I cannot do that. <laughs> I personally cannot. I could date you for two weeks or two months, but for me, it has to be one person at a time. Like, I really like to get to know someone for real, and that's any type of relationship for me. So I cannot, I personally cannot date multiple people at a time, but I know of some women who can. And yeah, and that's what I was saying. I'm the same way, and I know of women who are the same way. Like, to me, it's easier, perhaps, it appears, that's why I want to talk to you guys, it appears that men can do that, and, and that's just how they roll, but for women, it's challenging for us, because we really want to give you a shot, and we know that we can't give you a real shot if we got, like, three or four of y'all, you know, hanging around. Um, how do you guys feel, like, do, are you guys, first of all, okay if a woman you just met is, you know, taking it from other angles? <laughs> As well. Um, actually, uh, women, I think y'all need to learn how to multitask, mm -hmm. like, uh, like, like, like men, men do in this, in this particular area. Um, because for me, especially in today's day, in the dating marketplace, I would recommend, I would say it's a necessity that women date multiple men. Uh, there's different stages, there's dating, there's courting, like there's engagement, there's marriage, right? So the dating stage, I think that you should date as many people as you can. Uh, we, we take especially women, I get this all the time, women take dating too serious. Like, you start to talk to a, 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 like a, a woman, the first thing she's trying to do is, like, she's trying to get serious. Like, no, like, <laughs> why, why do that? You don't know me. The, the problem is that once you start to get serious with me and you're, you, you become emotionally vested, then you start to ignore red flags. You start to make concessions for my bad behavior. And you're, you're probably missing out on some other thing that you could have had going with somebody else. It's like, no, stay friends with me, stay friends with him, stay friends with him. You learn, you gather information, and then at that point in time, somebody's going to click more than the others. And then at that, that point in time, if the same thing is happening with him, with you, you guys can come together and say, hey, well, you know, after dating, I realized that you are the best out of all, you know, the, the options that I have. And I would like to take this a little bit further. I'd like to take it serious. Uh, why don't we become exclusive? But then at that point, then we are like no courting, like we're courting towards something. Let's talk about this because I feel momentum is so important in dating. If you only get a text from me, you know, if you were, if you text me, you hear back from me every three hours, every time. If we call and talk to each other, maybe once a week instead of every other day, like to me, you lose that momentum. And when you're dating like four, three, four, five different people, like for example, me, I only have let's say like an hour a day to invest in someone if i'm dating three four guys okay one guy get monday one get two so the monday guy will only hear from me on mondays and, and, and that, how that, are we supposed that, to that's fine. And <laughs> that but, momentum but you is gonna be with gone somebody. you would you will <laughs> click with someone that i'm talking to only once a week you will you will it, it, it would it will take like a couple months but eventually you're gonna click with that person and that guy's not gonna lose interest like when the guy when a girl doesn't text you back right away remember he's doing his thing too so you're not gonna mind it's not gonna bother me, you it doesn't bother me at all d how about you <laughs> d what do you think about this if i'm if i'm doing my thing 
if I'm doing my thing too, then I'm gonna feel I'm not gonna feel the type of way. I'm honestly going into every dating situation from from this point on, expecting that the woman and her probably already has three or four options already. Mm-hmm. Especially with social media just made things too easy. There's too many guys who are thirsty who are willing to do whatever it takes to get get to somebody. So I just know that there's going to be somebody who's gonna who's willing to simp out more than I am on any given occasion. So that's fine. But I know what I want and what I what I what I can provide and what I'm gonna get. So at the end of the day, I'm not really gonna care if you're talking to multiple people or not. If you want me, then you want me. If I want you, then I'm gonna make it known that I want you. And nine times out of ten, if we click in, then that's where it's gonna that's where it's gonna land. So I, I don't mind if you trying to fill things out. I think it's better that way that you do fill things out before you just go jump right in with somebody and say we're full on exclusively talking. You have to play the field. No, I know about the whole commitment part, but I mean, in terms of communication, like I feel like a lot of guys, I've heard this from guys. Let's say if you meet someone online and you write her, she won't write you back for two days. You text a girl, she won't, you want hit. And then you lose interest fast because you're like, okay, this girl not really interested in me because when I write her, she don't write me for two days. It's like you guys say you she can date different people, but you're going to feel it when you feel that she's not really keeping constant, commu- you know, a healthy uh, amount of communication, then you just feel like, okay, she's not interested next. So to me, how can you have both? How? I mean, if you're so, if you're so but that's busy, because women don't have games. Days? Like, are you really that busy? Then, then you don't have, yeah, any- like, I feel like, I, feel, I just feel like women, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like they don't have game, bro. Like, they just don't really know how to kind of navigate that situation. So, for example, instead of, sorry, two days went by, then they speak to a guy, they still have two guys on the back burner. They're not going to go into that conversation with, oh, sorry, love, I ain't speak to you for two days. Come up with something to say, some bullshit to make it feel better or something, crack a joke, whatever, make, make a situation out of it to where they kind of even forget, disengage from the whole situation and forget that they're even away for two days. If the conversation is fire, I don't care how long it takes before we speak. If every time we link, we clicking they're not going to notice if you make it fire but if you're going to be if you're going to take two days then you're dry then of course the person is going to lose interest and you're forcing that because you're being dry but if you're going still at it and you're still putting your best foot forward you're actually showing interest and you actually talking and being interesting like we're talking talking about before then there is no opportunity for that guy to lose interest in you all right if he wants you okay what do you think to that there's a fake, I don't, I hate like breaking it down so much, but I think in that point when you're dating multiple people, I don't think it's like an, an exclusive active dating phase. I don't know. I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I think there is a point in time where any person can be talking to multiple people at a time. And that's where you're kind of like trying to weed out who might make it to the actual dating phase where you decide to date exclusively but I think to to oversimplify and make it seem like it's just simple like you just talk to whoever like it's I feel like if you're dating with a purpose and intention to be finding somebody a future partner a lifetime partner versus if you're just dating casually to like have a good time and like meet people and you know who shares similar interests I think the approach is going to be different for both um, if I'm dating with an intention, it's going to be difficult to date someone seriously, multiple people seriously, because I'm really going in with the intention to really get to know you. What do you like? What do you don't like? Um, what I'm looking for, see if you meet what I'm looking for, both man and woman, versus if it's casually, then it's easier to kind of just have casual conversation and then put it on pause for two days and pick back up where you left off. Like that's easier if I'm not dating you with an intention and purpose. But I think when you get into that place where you want to date with an intention and purpose, it, it's difficult to do that with multiple people from my point of view. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think you are dating intentionally while you're getting to know these different women? Or you think it's like, eh, it's, if I meet her, if I don't, it's I. What? The latter. The latter. Okay. <laughs> so makes- there's some validity there. How about you, D? I think I think it comes with intention because I'm always been a see where it goes type of person. I know women hate that line to see where it goes, but it really, but life, man, come on now, we all grown. 
we've already we've already seen so many experiences. We know how quick life can change, how quick things can happen, and you don't know what tomorrow holds. So with that approach and with those facts and being known as a part of life, when it comes to dating, bro, like I don't know if I'm gonna meet the girl of my dreams tomorrow, the next day, or whatever the case may be. So if we're having this conversation, let's make the most of this conversation. If you want to get to know somebody, you have that intention. I'm giving everybody that I talk to the opportunity, wow me. I'm trying to wow you too. It's not just uh, on you. I'm like, I'm trying to, like, if I actually like you, if I'm interested in that, then I'm trying to wow you too. And if we click, something's going to happen. Like, we already, we all know that spark. We can't explain it. But you know when it happens where you actually just start to actually, when something happens within you and your eyes on that person, the way that you view that person just suddenly changes and you start to just think different things. And then you start to actually use more intention as far as your actions and what you speak, what you're going to do. You're going to cut some of those people off. You're going to cut off some of the fat and start focusing on who that spark is with. And then eventually you actually get into something serious and then you can really see and get to know that person. And then it just kind of narrows your scope. But I feel like in the beginning, you have to kind of start at the top, at the bottom of the period, and then you kind of, at the pyramid, and then you get to the top. All right. <laughs> Well, thank you. So now we see all these different sides. And again, it's good to have these conversations to kind of see how men and women think. You see how, you know, oftentimes we differ in the way we, so I think, uh, so I'm hoping these discussions as we come to understand how each other thinks, maybe we're more understanding <laughs> of each other in our interactions. Um, that's the hope of all of this.